If you are a victim of torture, you never totally recover. You may cope with the physical damage, but the psychological damage stays with you forever. Oh god, not again! I'm going to torture you! I've been here for months! Oh god, please! I just want to see my family again! No! The crowbar! Why? No! Ow! Please! Don't hurt me anymore! I'm broken inside! I will never forgive you for this! Ah, uh, yes, this is his wife, yes. Oh, yes, he'd be so interested in that, yes. Okay, I'll let him know right away. Thank you so much for calling. Toodaloo. Honey, honey. Yes, honey. So these people on the phone just called about the torturees from Japan, and they wanted to know if you wanted to join a support group. I mean, I'm not all that into therapy, but I mean, I'll give it a try. Ah, uh, okay, thank you so much, honey. They'll be meeting on alternating Wednesdays. Okay, thank you, honey. No problem, I love you. <laughs> love you too. Sorry I'm late guys, uh, I just got the call about this, thought I might check it out. Yeah, no problem, just take a seat. So you're probably new here, I haven't seen you around, or seen you here before. What's your name, if you don't mind me asking? Oh, it's, uh, it's Eric Lorax. Okay guys, ready? Hello, Lorax. Hi, hi. Yo. So, what brings you here? Uh, why are you here with us today? Well, uh, it's actually quite, quite difficult for me to talk about, but, uh, during the war, uh, the 1940s, I was, I was taken prisoner in a Japanese POW camp, uh, and I was tortured for information. Um, I, I miraculously, I, I survived and managed to get home. Um, but I, uh, I don't think I've ever fully reconciled with the man who, who tortured me, and I've never been able to contact or hear of him since. That's really... I'm sorry you had to go to that. Do you uh, know anything about the the man who tortured you, or any way to find him? Well, uh, I, I do. He he uh, he wore a name tag with the name Nagasi Takashi. Oh, interesting. You know, I know him. He started a fund called the Medical Foundation for Victims of Torture. Uh, he really turned around after World War II. Now he really just wants to help those who he harmed. I think you should really forgive him. Uh, maybe. I mean, if, if, if he's truly turned around, as you said, maybe, maybe he does deserve a second chance. Do you have any ways I can reach him? Of course I do. Um, on your way out, you can just pick up uh, the, the local news. Well, uh, thank you boys for your time here today. It uh, lots me. Uh, I've, I've got to go now. Bye. Okay. Have a great day.
Hello, sir. Is this seat taken? Uh, no, no, no. You, you're all good. Ah, okay, okay. Thank so, you, sir. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, how have you been doing today? I'm good. How about you? Uh, good, good. I just, I just came from a support group I've been visiting. Oh, uh, what kind of support group? Oh, it's, uh, it's for, uh, tortured veterans. Hey, you, you look really familiar. Do I know you? Oh, yes, yes, yes. I own the, the tortured veteran support groups. I'm the owner. What, 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 excuse, what, what's your name again? Uh, Nagashi Takashi, yeah. Uh, I've, I've been looking for you. Oh, you I, have? It, yes, and... During, do you, do you not remember me? During, during World War II, I was I was captured and and put in a Japanese uh, prisoner of war camp. You're the man who tortured me. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. I've changed. I've changed, sir. I, I, I've I've wanted to find you. I, I want to forgive you. Oh, I I accept your forgiveness, sir. I try my best to help everybody I hurt in the past. I, I, I really appreciate that. It, ah. it, it means a lot to me. Yes, yes. I'm glad you feel that way, sir. I'm glad to make you happy. Thank you. You're welcome. Now order me six pack. In Eric Lomax's memoir for The Forgiveness Project, the primary underlying theme and the main idea was forgiveness. This theme was established by the narrator throughout the story. Four methods with which the author accomplished this were the utilization of plot, the portrayal of characters' evolution, implementation of vocabulary with strong connotations, and development of the mood. Lorax introduced, reinforced, and refined the main idea through the plot by emphasizing events that effectively demonstrated his progression towards forgiveness. For example, the author began the narrative by describing the myriad of negative emotions he had harbored towards the man who had tortured him as a result of the harsh treatment he was forced to endure. Towards the end of the story, however, he had developed sympathy for his torture due to the complete humility that had been expressed. Another way in which the theme was reinforced was through the character development. For example, the narrator was initially portrayed as an angry, vengeance-seeking victim who desired the infliction of pain upon the man who had bestowed so much upon him. By the conclusion of the narrative, however, the two men had made amends and considered each other companions. A third method used to reinforce the main idea of the story was the usage of various vocabulary possessing strong connotation. For example, the narrator had initially expressed his hatred for the Japanese and his desire to drown and beat his captor. Eventually, though, he came to praise the compassion and humility expressed by the man who he once hated. Lastly, a fourth way the author conveyed the theme of his narrative was through the development of the mood. For example, the mood at the start of the story was hateful and dark, as was established by the narrator's emphasis on the psychological damage he sustained through statements such as his claim that he was falling apart. Gradually though, the mood evolved into one of sympathy, through the narrator's newfound perception of his former captive as an individual who had expressed humility and compassion. Thus, the memoir's underlying main idea and theme were introduced, reinforced, and refined through Lomax's use of plot character development, charge vocabulary, and mood to demonstrate the progression towards and attainment of forgiveness over the course of the narrative.